almost back to Abidian Forest, that's good. And we're in Virginia Forest again, nice. So let's just make our way back to where we were. And we'll be good. There we go. And I already battled you, so that's good. I'm just double checking actually. Yeah, there we go. So if we go up and keep on going up, there's another trainer battle. Or up and then right. And then up again, there's another trainer battle. And this one's optional, so, and I think the last one was optional too, so let's battle him. I might be a little, but I won't like it if you go easy on me. It's fine, I'll go hard on you then. I'll go massive, hardcore, expert hard on you. <laughs> okay, here's Bugcatcher Anthony, he sent a Caterpie. Okay. Let's go, and yeah, here's a Furo. A Fumi. And then, yeah. One more pack should faint this Caterpie. And by the way, this Caterpie is level 7, shouldn't have evolved into Medpot at level 7. But I think this trainer just pressed the B button when I was trying to evolve. And the Caterpie again, this one definitely should be a Medpot at level 8. But then again, you press, this trainer probably, Bucketcher Anthony probably, you know, hit the B button, pressed the B button twice when I was trying to evolve twice. But there we go, the Caterpie goes down. And we defeat Bucketcher Anthony. Oh, boo. Nothing went right. I'm sorry. Thanks for the 96 Pokedollars, though. Okay, so let's try to continue on here. So, there's this long patch of grass. I'm pretty sure you're guaranteed to run into one wild encounter, or just not, because I just didn't run into one wild encounter. Never mind. Here's another patch of grass. Here's an encounter. Okay, let's see what it is. It's a Caterpie. Okay. Nice. Let's use Peck. Go hit, nice. There we go. This guy is also an optional battle, optional trainer battle. Do you know what that Pokemon evolved? Yes, I do. Let's see if your Pokemon evolved by you saying that. I bet they are, man. I bet they are. But catch your Charlie. Okay, sent down Metapod. And yeah. Let's see, let's use a Peck attack. Okay, it's hardened, okay. Raise its defense by one number, okay. There we go, Metapod's down. There we go, Fumi Grid level 10. There we go, Caterpie. Let's use Peck Attack. There we go. There we go. Metapod again. Use pack, I guess. Yeah. Two one more packs should faint this. Two more packs total. Uh, two packs total to faint this Metapod. Metapod will raise its defense by one number. Okay. Cool. There we go. Super effective. We defeat Bloodcatcher Charlie. Oh, I lost. Yeah. Um. Thanks for the four Pokedollars, though. You're right. Pokemon do evolve. I agree with you. Plus he had like metapods and stuff that were actually evolved at like level 7 and 8. Oh cool, we didn't run into wild Pokemon there. Nice. So if we go right here, here's a Pokeball, or no potion, sorry, my bad. That was a Pokeball. And I think there's one last trainer in Radiant Forest that you have to battle, and that's required actually. It's this Bugcatcher right here. I think it's Bugcatcher Sammy. Hey wait, uh, but don't, what's the hurry, what's, why the rush? He's a level 9 Weedle, by the way. So yeah. Look at your semi, yeah, Weedle, and it's level 9. There we go. And we'll use Peck, I guess. There we go. One more Peck should faint this Weedle, which is very nice. Nice, 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 nice. There we go. Use Peck again. Premier Gear level 11, awesome. Yeah, I didn't reach your dog, I'm sorry. Thanks for 108 Pokedollars though. 
Now, there's a Pokemon I want to catch in this. As I said before, it's um in the video voice I said so before. I said it's a Pikachu. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna just run from this battle. Again, Pikachu only comes at level 3 and level 5 in Vinny Forest, so... Um, I don't wanna actually level up too much to where I accidentally faint in one hit. Okay, this is a Kakuna. Not what I'm looking for, but it's level 5, female. Cool. Let's see here, there we go. He's a Weedle. Level 3 male, but again, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a Pikachu. Okay, this one's level 4. A Weedle, female. Okay, we gotta just find one, I guess. Metapod. My cat's just lying on its back, but I'm not looking for a Metapod either. There we go. Okay, another Kukuna. Now what I'm looking for, I'm looking for a Pikachu. Again, I think it has a 5% appearance rate too, like Sparrow did, so let's just hope for the best. It's a Caterpie, okay. There we go. Um, a Caterpie, no. It's not what I'm looking for. Let's see if this is it. Nope, that's a cat. It's a Kakuna. Oh, I'm not battling for the Pokemon and the one counters because I don't want Fumi to get to like level 13 or something, level 12, and accidentally, like, um, to, um, you know, to ac I'm trying to find a Pikachu here, and I, mean, I don't want to actually want to hit KO it with, um, like Peck or something, you know? Oh yeah, I don't, I don't, I honestly don't want experience right now, so, cause like, I'm trying to just make sure I can try to catch a Pikachu on the first, uh, time I see one, I guess, first appearance, uh, why hunting for a Pikachu, I could, I could do that, um, slash dragon 23, but I'm not going to, cause I'm so afraid I'm gonna faint it by, by, you know, chance, and I don't, I'm, I mean, I've done, I've already done level grinding, so, um, yeah, but thanks for understanding, slash dragon 23. Let's just run from this, Weedle. Okay, hopefully we can find at least a Pikachu in the next, like, probably three or two to five encounter, encounters. I hope so. No, it's a Caterpie. Oh, thanks, Slash Dragon, for following the Grotto Squad. Thanks for the follow. Okay. Let's go down. I hope we can find a Pikachu. Oh, well, you have a you you have um one hundred level one hundred shiny Beedrill. That's cool. Slash Dragon twenty three. That's cool. Oh, that means we shi we use shiny hunting or looking for a shiny uh Weedle or something like Kuna in this forest. That's cool. Oh yeah, I for I forgot that Beedrill actually got a Mega Evolution and Omega Ruby. And Alpha Sapphire. That's cool. That's really cool. The lols. <laughs> I like that. Oh, it's a random catch. Oh, so like it, it, it was like a surprise. That's cool. That's cool. Let's see if we can find a Pikachu, hopefully. Nope, of course not. It's a Weedle. It's a Weedle, everyone. Let it be known that Weedle is more common in Fire Red than Leaf Green, as I said before in this live stream session. Oh, 
Okay, Kakuna, that's cool. Yeah, I want to find a Pikachu though. Like, with a random battle with a trainer, or w where the trainer is gets a shiny, do you mean like off Wi-Fi or something? Or, um, do you mean like that? Shadow Dragon, or Slash Dragon 23? So if this is a Pikachu, that's a Caterpie, of course it's a Caterpie. Like, wouldn't it be a Caterpie? Oh, um... Um, I don't really Wi-Fi much, but like I when I played X and Y actually when I played um, Pokemon Y on my 3DS XL I actually um found um this guy who had a shiny uh, Gligar not Gligar, but um Gliscor and it had um uh, po the Toxic Orb or Poison Orb. I think it was called the Toxic Orb as a held item Oh like in game no, not Wi-Fi. Um, I don't think so then, but like, when I was doing that Wi-Fi battle with that guy who had a shiny Glyce score, he had the Toxic Orb, I believe, as a held item on it, and it got poisoned on purpose, but it had Toxic Heal as its ability, and that's not, that's not, that's not fun to deal with, honestly. I lost that battle, but I didn't do, I didn't do, I didn't experience that in-game at all. So, yeah. Let's see if this is a Pikachu. It's a Weedle, okay. Hopefully, the... Hopefully we run into Pikachu soon. That's like what I'm hoping right now. That's cool. We found a guy with the shiny Meowth. That's nice. The Slash Dragon 23. That's really cool. Shiny Meowth. That's kind of cool. Oh, it was torture. <laughs> that must not have been a fun time then. I'm sorry to hear that. This is a Caterpie, okay. We gotta find a Pikachu. I'm determined to find a Pikachu in this l same live stream session. I'm just determined to. Because once we, once we find a Pikachu, we can go to Pewter City, which is past that transitional area or transitional building. And then we can beat Brock with the level 9 Squirtle because Bubble does four times the, uh, f uh, f four times the damage on um, his Geodude and Onyx, and that trainer before him only has a Geodude, which is also the same case because it's four times weak to Water and Grass type moves. That's why if you start with Bulbasaur or Charmander, not Charmander, but Bulbasaur or Squirtle, that gym is like really easy because it's because Grass because Geodude and Onyx are both four times weak to Grass and Water type moves because you know Grass type moves are f super effective against Rock and Ground type. Um, Pokemon and the same goes for you know Squirtle where Squirtle's four times uh, super effective against rock types and ground type Pokemon and since they're both both that type then it's four times effective there you go oh uh, Lavatar oh man that must have been to um, bad torture as you said Oh, that's cool how you got Dragonite slash Dragon 23. Oh, it took a couple weeks though. That's, um, you were determined, so that's really good. Um, kudos to you though. That's cool. So we can, let's hope we can find a Pikachu soon. I've been searching this grass for about maybe 10 minutes now, if I were to guess. I wasn't really looking at my timer on OBS, but, you know. That's okay. A Caterpie. Not what I'm looking for. I'm, I'm surprised we haven't run into one Pikachu yet. I mean, we've had like, what, 30 encounters or something like that? Maybe 20? I don't know. 5% appearance rate, though. Jeez. Oh, come on. I want to find a Pikachu soon. Hopefully find a Pikachu soon. Caterpie, okay. That's cool. 